uh, video, our virtual career fair over to SAS Polytech. And Cheryl, please, um, if you want to show your video, that would be awesome. And please go ahead now. Thank you. I think you might be still muted, Cheryl. You're sharing your screen. Oh, there we go. There you I go, yes. Thank you, Kara. I'm just gonna wait for this to pop up. Brilliant, Kara, you can see this, welcome. Yes, we can, content. thank you. Excellent. Good to have so many people on the line today. Uh, my name is Cheryl Boys from Saskatchewan Polytechnic. I had the honor of coming um, up north uh, to the, with the Career Symposium two years ago, and it was really nice to see everyone together. But uh, thank you for joining virtually. So I'd first off like to acknowledge the people of Treaty 4 and Treaty 6 territory and the Métis whose traditional territory we serve our campuses on today. Now I'd like to start off my presentation with just a few words of inspiration um, and testimonies from individuals who have come to Saskatchewan Polytechnic before. Uh, first we have this man here, Matthew, who came from Weyburn. Uh, his band is Kausasis, Kausasis, First Nation. Um, and just talking about how he encourages people to take that leap, take that first step and apply to whichever program interests you. Uh, and then we have a lot of resources and services available. Um, and uh, this lady here, um, she came from Lewinster, Onion Lake First Nation, and she talks about finding that confidence in yourself and striving for new opportunities. If you love what you do, you never, uh, you'll always be good at it. And oftentimes people say it'll feel like you never work a day in your life. So um, today we're going to briefly overview why you might want to choose Saskatchewan Polytechnic for post-secondary. So after you uh, leave high school, programs and admissions. Indigenous services, how you can utilize our program explorer if you're just unsure of what you want to do with your career path, some student services, and then I want to show you how to navigate saspolytech.ca so that you're able to research these options on your own. So again, my job at Saskatchewan Polytechnic is student recruitment. So I help individuals like you, um, you know, to just get, get started. And uh, you'll notice that SAS Polytechnic has four different campus locations. So the closest one to many of you might be Prince Albert, uh, but we do have campuses in Saskatoon, Regina, and in Moose Jaw. So when you are researching a program at SAS Polytechnic, it's a good idea to check out where that program is located. So we have 10 schools um, at SAS Polytechnic, and we call them schools because the program that you might be interested in falls under that title or that school. So we have over 150 different program options. So there's lots and lots and lots of different career choices, but it's good for you to research what area you want to get into. So we have the School of Business. So if you're interested in anything from like accounting, marketing, finance, insurance, we have construction. If you're the type of individual that likes to build things or you're interested in, in structure and design, uh, health sciences is big if you're interested in anything to do with the healthcare world. So that could be working in a laboratory setting or an x-ray technician or um, uh, there's so many paramedics. Uh, hospitality and tourism for those of you that enjoy cooking or you see yourself working in the in the hotel industry or you want to get into service cooking. Uh, human services and community safety. This one is for things such as um, early childhood education, youth care worker, corrections working, et cetera. Information and communications technology is for those who are IT buffs. If you're good in any sort of computers or you like uh, the technology of computers and you're interested in maybe things like coding or design, uh, that's a good school. Mining energy and manufacturing has many schools or programs such as welding, power engineering, uh, electrical engineering, there, there's quite a few under that school. Um, natural resources and built environment. Uh, so things like water resource management or civil engineering or um, uh, those kinds of programs. School of Nursing, for any of you out there that loves helping people who are sick, um, we have our bachelor's of science in nursing. 
We have a practical nursing program, and we also have psychiatric nursing if you're more interested in working with the mental health. Uh, and then School of Transportation is for my people out there that like to fix vehicles. Maybe you want to fix heavy trucks, uh, small equipment like small cars and trucks, um, or we also have the egg equipment machine tech. So another school I want to introduce you to is the School of Continuing Education. So this is for individuals who um, maybe aren't able to come and take a full-time program with us at our campus, um, but are looking for maybe just some part-time options that you can take online from home. So there's a number of courses within this school as well. So why might you want to choose SAS Polytech? Well, we have a lot of programs, so do your research. You'll see exactly what the programs are about when we go to the website. Programs are short, so they're typically one to two years. Um, so you're really not in school for that much longer than you, you know, getting out of high school. So lots of people love that. The small class sizes is about 15, or sorry, not 15, about 25 individuals per program. So it's really nice so you get to know your classmates and your instructors, and even in the virtual world right now. You'll learn by doing, so you'll get to put uh, some hands-on learning into everything that you do, or maybe it's uh, other projects and things like that. Tuition is fairly affordable. Lots of applied research opportunities, depending on the program you get into. And we are nationally accredited across Canada. So you can take that diploma or certificate with you wherever you go. So when I'm speaking about work integrated learning, I'm talking about these things here. Maybe your program has a field investigation, or if you're in any of our equipment and machine time type programs, so like mechanics or welding or electrical, power engineering, all those stuff, you have to be in our, our, our facilities, right? Practicums and clinical placements and simulations are big with our health science and nursing programs. Uh, same with labs and uh, co-op work placements are available for some of our business and our engineering programs. So if you do think that you are interested in the skilled trades, and when I say skilled trades, again, I'm talking about things that you would either fix or build, such as, you know, welding, electrical, mechanics. Um, we offer 20 apprenticeable trades. And so it's a foot in the door to help find a job, basically, because we teach you all those really good skills um, before you enter into the workforce. So again, we'll browse through those. And I encourage any women in the crowd today that are interested in trades or technology uh, to reach out to our WIT team. We call it Women in Trades and Technology. And these are female mentors because trades have typically been male dominated and women are doing fantastic jobs and uh, getting hired even faster than the men sometimes. So uh, we have that phenomenal team. And then we actually have a whole website on our, our SASPolytech.ca uh, website dedicated to Indigenous uh, services and our success strategy. So that includes um, connections with our advisors or Indigenous advisors. We have summer transition programs for any of you that are registered as a student and maybe you'd like to uh, connect with our advisors before you come on in. Um, they set up lots of great programs, um, referrals, tutoring, making sure that you have your finances in order, uh, take you around the campus and things like that. So Indigenous Services is wonderful. Like I said, those virtual transition camps happen in August before you start the program. So you'll learn things about skill development, uh, group building, all that good stuff. And then we also have things like virtual Indigenous student center. So it used to be with each other, but now it's online. So we have things like mindful Mondays and teepee time and kitchen parties uh, that the advisors uh, take, take up charge on. Uh, coffee chats with campus elders, and uh, they're even doing creep for dinner. So creep bingo. Now you can connect with an Indigenous a student advisor if you like. Um, I'll show you where to find that, but it's under our Become a Student tab on the SAS Polytech website. And so every Monday through Thursday from 8.30 to 4, you can just simply drop in online and get connected to an advisor. So it's really easy. You don't have to make an appointment. You just drop on in kind of like I did today. Um, so as far as application processes, there's three application processes, but I'm going to focus on the main one, which is called First Qualified, First Admitted, as this is used for the majority of our programs. So as soon as you are enrolled or in the required grade level or subject for the program, you should apply. 
um, because applications are open all year round and there's no deadline. So you would of course need to apply and send us in your official transcripts that would come from the Ministry of Education. And also, if uh, make sure you mark off on your application if you are a person of Indigenous ancestry, a woman interested in trades and technology, if you have a disability, or a visible minority group um, for our education equity seating. If by chance you were not meeting the qualifications and you were no longer in high school in your community, SAS Polytech does have academic upgrading available. We have adult 10 and 12 programs. So again, Prince Albert would be probably your closest location. And so sometimes people are wanting to come into SAS Polytechnic and they don't quite have the qualifications. So they enroll in adult um, upgrading. So we do have that searchable on our website as well. If you search for academic upgrading on the SAS Polytech website. Lots of great supports. Once you are a student with us, we have housing at the PA campus very limited, so make sure you register. Um, career counseling, uh, you know, counseling services in general, whether you're having personal or academic issues, um, you have that confidential counselors to work with and uh, accessibility services and health services and things like that. Once you're registered, uh, you might be looking for student loans. There are government loans available for full-time and some part-time programs or you might wanna reach out to your band to discuss if there's funding available with them as well. Um, or if your Métis might wanna speak with um, Gabriel Dumont Institution as I know they, they've helped over there as well. And we have our own student awards. We have over $2 million in student awards that you can apply to um, once you become a student with us. So student awards is definitely something that you would want to consider because everybody loves free money. And then lastly, I wanna show you Program Explorer. A lot of times it's hard to figure out that decision of what you wanna be when you grow up and what you wanna do. So we have this Explore that allows you to take a 10 minute quiz and based on how you answer the questions, it'll come up with five programs that might be of interest to you. Um, we also have career workshops. So you can um, look at career planning workshops. Um, you don't have to be a student, of course, and that's available on our website as well. So before I hit the website up, this email here is how you can connect with all of us student advisors. So it's askaquestion at saspolytech.ca. Okay, ask a question at saspolytech.ca and someone will get to you. So I'm just going to bounce out of this presentation here and go to our website. So I'm at saspolytech.ca um, where you can find a lot of the information. I'm just going to increase my screen size so you can see. Is this become a student? This is where you can come for drop-in advising sessions. So if you click onto there, you can drop in, you can just use that Zoom link there and say you wanna to speak to an academic advisor or indigenous advisor and they'll connect you. Um, to find programs and courses, you would just simply click on programs and courses and you can view all those programs A to Z, okay? And if there's questions that you have while I'm speaking, do send those through. Uh, I only have a couple minutes left here. Um, but when you are searching a program, um, I just have someone asking a question. Say someone lives in La Ronge and can take some courses from home, SIIT. Um, some of the programs, just to answer your question, we do have some part-time programs available for the individual that is looking for courses from home. Um, if you're interested in SIIT, definitely talk to them. But again, where you can browse programs and courses is right here. So full-time is this link here. If you're looking for part-time studies, you'd want to look at the continuing education site, okay? Um, first, I'm going to browse our programs A to Z, just so you can see what I'm talking about. So all 150 programs are listed in here. I'm just going to click on this Aboriginal Police Preparation course. Um, again, send in your questions while I'm speaking. Uh, this Aboriginal Policing Preparation Program, it'll tell you all about the program so you can see what you would be learning. This one talks about investigative techniques, criminal justice system and criminal law, dealing with addictions, family violence, suicide intervention, etc. So if you feel like as you're reading it, as you're like, yeah, I'd like to learn more about that um, and the kind of careers that you can get, definitely check it out. This program here says it starts August 30th to April 15th. It's offered in Prince Albert, Regina, and Saskatoon. Um, and Terry Fleury is our contact for that program. So you can message him directly if you like via that email. The admission requirement is a grade 12. There will be additional notes under some programs. 
um, if you need to take additional requirements. So that is how you search our programs and courses. I know I'm at my two o'clock moment here, but uh, please do reach out with questions. I would love to hear from you um, and uh, what your interests are. Thanks everybody and thanks, Kara. Thank you very much, Cheryl. Yes, please put your contact information into the chat. And if anybody has any direct questions that you would like to get SAS Polytechnic to answer, um, I, I definitely use your website, uh, the Undecided uh, app to help with my clients that are looking at uh, what kind of career they may want to go into. So thank you very much. Um, I'd like to move on and introduce our next presentation. And if you could, um, uh, we've got Ahmad. Ahmad is with the Lac La Lorange Indian Child and Family Services. So I see that Ahmad is here and he